Hi, welcome to the first outdoor test of the Cherson CX22. So I managed to fix the battery by uh, bypass the um, electronic boards uh, controlling the powering, etc. So I directly solder on the lipo pines. And uh, I already done the compass calibration as well as the gyroscope one. So now I'm waiting to receive my first um, I hope you can read my first satellites. So it would take probably two or three minutes to fix uh, satellites. Okay, so you have two fields, one for the quadcopter and one for the transmitter. As you can see, I start to receive uh, three satellites here for the uh, receiver, I guess, at zero now for the transmitter, but it will come. So all this process, uh, from the cold start will take between three five minutes okay and uh, as you can see uh, I've got the FPV screen um, as you may know the Gerson 622 use um, a flying controlling board from uh, Big Shark this is a X8 version uh, in fact the second revision of the X8 version so you can download the software to control everything and if you want you can assign your switch position and there is novelty you can also uh, do some waypoints so uh, you have a planner that's good news uh, the gimbal is a 2 axis one from OM uh, the 2D uh, gimbal 2 axis gimbal version of the um, Wingsland Minivet which was uh, which is a 3 axis one so you got also the same software to calibrate uh, the inertia but it's working working well very well actually so I just did the compass calibration and everything is okay um, so I will wait for uh, the reception of all the GPS information actually I'm receiving up to seven satellites um, I will record the FPV uh, session with my uh, Boscom Google GS922 it's set to A1 frequency and is uh, this broadcasting in NTSC format so I will record okay and start to fly so I will harm that capture I'll be sure that all switch A uh, B and C are in zero position you have to press these sticks like this to harm the quadcopter and, and So actually, I am in uh, altitude hold setup, but on the FPV monitor, I hope you can see, it's pretty, pretty smooth. Nice flyer. Okay. I will record by pushing the. Okay, now I'm recording. No frame rate drop during recording. You have a small logo. Okay, let's see in GPS now. GPS hold on. Pretty good. A little bit windy, but uh, pretty nice. I hope you can see the screen as well, but you will see also in uh, picture and picture the FPV station. Pretty nice. Let's see if I engaging the return to home. So switch A to second position. Okay, it's engaging. Hmm. Working pretty pretty well. Great. I will stop recording. Okay, nice. Okay, I will resume the. Flight, we are on the quadcopter, it's already home, and take, take off in altitude hold. Let's see how. Actually, you have some uh, deep, simple dipole antenna. Uh, what I'm seeing on the screen, the uh, gimbal is working well, but we will see the truth. On the recording. So the setting is not sporty at the flying 3DX8 for 
a big shark uh, um, model is more for an IP platform, it's very smooth. The yaw is, uh, default setting for the yaw is correct, but as I said, everything can be tuned from the uh, uh, Big Shark Vice Shark uh, software now. Uh, all the PIDs, the switch, assignment and so on, so I will show some videos about it. Playing well. I will turn in, into GPS assisted mode. Okay, so as you can see, I can only fly with the uh, left stick. Okay, that's all. It will stay in position. Pretty nice. I will record. Okay, recording. A bit of altitude. Ah. Pretty nice. As you can see, it's a little bit windy, but uh, not bad at all. Okay, I will order to descend. I think in this descent stage, you will have some wobble in the videos, but uh, the image is pretty, pretty good. In GPS, I will return in manual. Well, you don't have a real manual uh, mode, but I guess with the software, we'll be able to assign one of the combinations. You have three switch, um, two of them are three ways, so you have plenty of combination to have a pure uh, a manual flight if you want. I'm sure of it. So, since Pretty nice. So the wind starts to raise here. Uh, I will show that it's possible to. I will return in in GPS mode. Okay, and GPS hold. And I will try to play with the gimbal. Okay, the pitch. Well, this is a uh, roll, I would say, sorry. Working well. And now the pitch. Not bad at all. Whoa. And the vertical as well. Pretty nice. Great. So you can see that the stabilization is working well. The, uh, I guess with the linear antenna, the FPV reception should be not so fantastic. Uh, already within a radius of 30 meters, some statics. So probably uh, you will have to change the um, uh, antenna to this reception. I will see if it's possible to also install some uh, uh, cloverleaf antenna in the uh, uh, on the uh, video transmitter, you already know maybe that the video transmitter is including in the camera uh, uh, bulb, you know, this sphere. It's including, so um, it would be a little bit tricky to install a clover leaf antenna without disequilibrate uh, the uh, gimbal stabilization. So it's an open question how to install a clover leaf antenna for such model. working well so come on I will engage return to him now no I was not really here you know that uh. Okay, now, yes, I was here, yes, it's true.
correct. Okay, I will stop recording. Working well, disarm. Thanks a lot for this first demo of the Cherson 622.